All right, YouTube. A couple folks asked me kind of what we did when we did the electric fan conversion on both my 8.1 and Pat 6.0 and a couple other 6.0s we've done now um, before we got HP tuners to start tuning uh, fan control. And so what you're looking at here is the connector for the two trigger wires, two ground control wires that would normally see the splice don't worry they're heat shrunk down to there it's just we taped them up to keep them together these would normally go to the pins in the computer and the computer would control the ground triggers we cut the harness or cut the pigtail because it actually will sit under here i don't have the cover off but it sits right about here under this cover so these would normally go to the computer what we did is we ran them through the firewall and I still got them on my dash. We just got two switches. Now behind the dash, I've got uh, ground wire going to the metal frame of the dash to give me ground. And then the other side is each trigger wire. So they're not hooked up right now, but if I was to click one, that switch would have turned on both fans on low with that one switched up I hit that one and it would give me both fans on high and that's how the the computer controls them as well but now this is just here because we this past weekend we just got my truck all tuned and we're still kind of fine-tuning that but the fans are now controlled electronically by the PCM. Uh, still got my stock tune file on it. Um, we'll do a video explaining more, but we changed the, let's see if I can see it down there. And okay, you can't see it, but it's the, the AC pressure switch that normally sits down there by the, the radiator. It's a switch on these 9902 trucks and the 03 and up trucks, they went to a, a, a sensor versus a switch. So we converted it to a sensor, grabbed the wiring from an 03 plus truck um, and pinned it into the computer. Uh, like I said, that'll be another video. Um, I just wanted to get this video up for you guys. I know you guys have been asking, but when you get the whole harness and you're going to keep now you could depin the depin it from the computer and keep the pins and that's what we did on my other one so i've got two technically two pigtails sitting in the truck right now but you can just go to another truck that someone's already hacked up and just grab this little pigtail so you don't have to do any splicing on the, the harness side but this are just two ground wires ground triggers so when you apply ground to these two wires it will control your fans one wire i believe it's the blue one will give you low speeds now to have the both highs come on you have to have the other switch turned on that's just how it works that's how the computer controls it normally that's how the setups the relay box is set up for it now you will notice if you're messing around with it that if you just turn the high switch on so if you were just to turn this high switch on a single fan would turn on high that is not the proper way to do it it's not designed to do that all that is is basically it's back feeding through the relays it's not wrong it's not it doesn't mean it's wired wrong it just means it's not being you have to put it in sequence so lows and then highs and you just turn both off and as for going down the highway people have asked like do i have to turn them off so the factory i believe turns them off over 40 or 45 miles an hour i think that's what we got on the tune file i don't know how many times i've driven all day with my lows on be cruising down the highway doing 80 and go oh my fans are on it doesn't doesn't do anything bad it doesn't hurt anything so now 
I have left my fans on after I got out of the truck, and Pat's done it too. We hop out of the truck, we go inside. We actually went down and sat down to eat somewhere, and uh, he left his lows on. We came out, and his fans are running. We turn it off, and the truck starts right up. So, I mean, they don't draw a whole lot of power once they're running, but it's something to be mindful of. Um, and we'll... Once we dial out the, the tune file on controlling the fans with the AC as well, because turning the fans on and off for engine coolant temp, no problem. Easy. It's in the in the tune files. It's the controlling them when you have the AC on. So that way, you know, when it's 110 out here in Texas and you're idling, your fans will kick on due to AC pressure to make sure that you have nice cold AC all the time. So... Hope this answers you guys' questions. Um, we're trying to get better about making these videos. Uh, we're going to work on some editing. Probably not on this one. I might just post this one straight. Straight and raw. But yeah, so this is the connector again. Um, yeah, it's pretty simple. If you got any questions, just put them down in the comments and we'll get to you guys. All right, thank you.